Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Nadine. And we've been talking about grounding and grounding cords. And yesterday we were talking about the importance of grounding the body and one of the main purposes of grounding the body to siphon off the thoughts and emotions that are not yours. Another really key reason to have a grounding cord on is to provide stability so that we can move uh, effortlessly. We can, you know, kind of sway and, and move with the flow. So here in Colorado, uh, USA, we just got dumped with a lot of snow. And so, you know, walking outside with snow, there's ice underneath. Very important to be grounded so that we're stable as we're walking from the house to the barn, from the house to the vehicle, uh, from the vehicle to the store. So grounding our body is key. But another thing that I really suggest everyone do is to put a grounding cord on your vehicle, your car, your um, your truck, your trailer, anything that's moving, especially if there's snow plows out, uh, other people on the road. So we want to make sure that the other people are grounded, but let's do a grounding cord on the vehicle. So to do that, we want a straight line and we want a coil. So would you just take a moment and close your eyes you, because you don't need to see me to do this, would you visualize your ride, your car, your vehicle? And right in the center of the vehicle, would you just imagine a straight line coil wrapped around that straight line connected to the bottom of your vehicle, and that is literally connecting you to the earth grid, if that would be a good word for you. So no matter how that vehicle is moving, that vehicle is stabilized um, so we can move forward. We'll continue this in uh, other videos, but my suggestion right now is to take a moment and number one, make sure you are grounded right at your coccyx with that straight line and coil, but ground your vehicle and I'll come back uh, tomorrow and let's talk about other ways you can stabilize uh, a ride, a vehicle, a bus you're on, a uh, bus your children are on, if that's appropriate, an airplane that you're uh, flying in. Highly recommend plane, train, whatever. Uh, grounding cords on each of the engines on a plane. Main grounding cord for the airplane. So on your car, you know, you have that main grounding cord for the main body of the vehicle, but put a grounding cord on each of the tires. So you would have a total of five uh, grounding cords on that vehicle. If you happen to be pulling a trailer, let's say you're pulling a, a whole bunch of horses or cows or sheep, um, make sure that there's a grounding cord on the main vehicle and the trailer and one on every single tire. So I know I'm, I'm running into time here. Let me stop this video and at least get this information out uh, because regardless of whether you have a, st a snowstorm, a rainstorm, having stability is key. Again, this is Dr. Nadine, uh, just with solutions and tools. So follow, hit, click that follow button, share this information with other people. Uh, when we get to a thousand followers, we'll be able to offer even more. So thank you so much for the share and the follow and have a great day. Let's be grounded everyone.